welcome back to part two of 10 minute talk with shaders magic uh, today we're here a uh, different time different day uh but same two people this week um we're here again with shay say hello hello and we, we're gonna be asking more questions um and yeah that's basically what is the same as last time just more questions um so Shay, we're going to start off by asking, where do you perform the most? Uh, so I, I like busking a lot before coronavirus. But yeah, I used to busk in a local town quite a bit. Uh, that's where I perform the most. Uh, before the lockdown, I got a few gigs, but not too many. And what got you into like thinking of the idea of busking? So... We saw this guitarist, right? And my mum was like, oh, Shay, surely you could do that with your magic, right? And I was like, do I want to try it? Do I want to try it? Do I, do, do I not? I was kind of like, mm. And one day, my nan just said, you, your magic's here. Why don't you just go out and do it? I was like, okay, I'll give it a go. I stood out there for like two, three hours and made quite a good bit of money, actually. Nice. Uh, how many yeah. people were there? Uh, the maximum crowd I got was about 10, 11 people. It's quite a lot for just getting people to actually take a time out their day to yeah. come and watch you on the street perform. Um, how do you practice the most? So, uh, I, I, I just kind of take a move and come up with a routine for it. Yeah. And I, I like I I do a bit of reading, and but I do I do watch videos, but it's not like YouTube videos. It's like you know downloads uh, stuff like that. Yeah. Uh, so I quite like watching DVDs, downloads, anything like that. Really. Yeah. Um. And the next question is one that's not asked that uh, very much. But um, you'll only know the answer to this question if you've seen Shay perform. What do you wear in your performance? So uh, I have two different types of suits. I've got a full suit, so that's blazer, tie, uh, waistcoat, shirt, trousers, sh uh, trousers shoes. So no suit shoes. Sorry, um, and I also wear. And then I've got another suit, which is just like a casual suit jacket. But with that, I wear a shirt, a bow tie, and a pair of black jeans, and the um, suit shoes. Yeah. And that I means know. that... You're, so you go for kind of a smart style um, to dress to impress. impress. Yeah. Um, yeah. What's your favourite card? It's a weird question, but what's your favourite card? So, uh, most people might say Chris Ramsey, but I quite like the four of spades because yeah. there's a lot of there's a lot of space to sign. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I like it because it's got a lot of blank space. Yeah. Yeah. Um, do you have any other hobbies other than magic? I mean, not really hobbies, but I like to play the occasional game of football and basketball. Yeah. Um, uh, yes, I don't really. Yeah. The next question is, is asked a lot to magicians. What's your favourite magician? Uh, so, I like people like Harry Penong. Although their stuff is like, quite cool. Uh, I quite I quite like the mechanics uh, behind that sort of stuff. We've got, although it's simple, it looks impressive, and it's got simple mechanics. Yeah. Well, I wouldn't say I wouldn't say simple, but I'd say mediocre mechanics to it. Yeah. Um. What do you think makes a perfect magician and a perfect trick? Uh, so I personally think it's the way you present it and if you talk about a trick, it's the way you present it. And yeah. if you're on about the person, it's the way you present yourself. 
And what do you think you need to, like, what, what do you think a magician needs to do to become, like, the ideal perfect magician, just in general? Just be yourself. Yeah. Hold up. But whilst we're in Corona, this is the analogy I'm going to use. When you put your face mask on, it's like when you go to a gig with a T on. Yeah. And the next... That's like the analogy I read. Oh, you lagged out there. Um, the next question oh. is, um, what's your favourite non-magic book? Uh, my favourite non-magic book? I, I quite like a Roald Dahl book. Yeah. Yeah, they're quite nice too. Now, do you like the old yeah. ones uh, with like the older illustrations or the new ones? Yeah, the older illustration. Yes. Um, what's your favourite non-magical film? A non-magic film. I quite like uh, The Lion King. Yeah, the old one or new uh, one? Then? Uh, both, actually. Yeah. Anything to do with theatre, uh, cars, quite, yeah, quite a lot of stuff. Um, I have a big question, all right? Uh, do you have top tips for starters and top tips for where to buy, where to learn, and where to uh, get magic from? So, to, to beginners, I say swallow up as much knowledge as you can get because then if when when you become more experienced and you think you've created something you will know or you can or you can take like things put them together and you can create something but it, also if you think if you create something that you think is original you can think like is it original? Because you, because you've swallowed so much information, you've got like a mental log of what you know and what you don't know. Yeah. Um, um, and what shop do you recommend for beginners or just so for the for for beginners or people in general? Uh, Prop Doc's quite a nice shop. Satin Magic. Yep. Uh, yeah. Places like that. And uh, the final question, I think, is if you could write a book with your favourite magician, who would it be? What would it be called? And what would the book be about? So if I could write a book with anyone, it would be Harapanog. Yep. Just because his way of thinking is crazy. Yeah. Uh, it would be... I, I don't really know what he'd be called. I'm, I've never really thought about that. And what what would it teach? It would teach stuff right from the basics yeah. to the world's best card technician stuff. Yeah. So for all, yeah. all different uh, rounds of people and for people to learn uh, hard slides and um, beginner slides. Yeah. Um, I think this is the end of the questions, but all right. Thanks for watching. Uh, this is the end of the right. part series with Shay, uh, but we'll be back next week with another guest. Thank you. Goodbye.